good and Morgan, lads and lassies, and welcome to my biggest challenge ever, because in a couple months time, myself and four friends right now, we might have more along the way, are taking on cycling from Malin to Mizzen, which is the very north coast of Ireland, the most southerly point in Ireland. So that's a challenge we've wanted to do for a long time. We're doing it for charity, we're also doing it for the crack, and also for our health and well-being, because we're gonna get very fit. I do know that down the line it means I'm going to have to dress in something like this. Go on, take take the top off. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a full-blown cycling leotard on. This is our first cycle. It's mid-June. We have we're doing this in mid-September, so we have about three months to train. Um, I'll go through the exact route later on, uh, but we have planned route. We are doing this. We're fully committed, and just to make it that little bit more accountable, we are doing the whole thing on YouTube. Um, and it will be great fun along the way, it's going to be an amazing trip. But today we're going to go up to the mountains and go for our first bike ride and see how we go, see how unfit we actually are. This is Ian by the way, he'll be one of the people. One of the athletes. Yeah, <laughs> very athletic in his leotard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you do what you want to do. Do you know how to I have street, uh, street cred. <laughs> street cred. You want to spread out your bum cheeks as well. <laughs> he, Ian's actually got a particularly wide bum, so he's had to customise the saddle. <laughs> Alright, so we are currently, to check exactly, 3.6 kilometres in. Ian's been walking. I think he's got puncture. Do you have puncture? Well, it's full puncture. What does puncture look like? How are we going to do like 140 kilometers in one day? No, it looks fine. Sit under it. Looks all right to me. All right, we are back. On the road. Hey, hey. Oh, <laughs> oh. That, mate? Oh, not good. What is it a, um, a bad workman does? Blames him. No, he doesn't blame himself. He blames his tools. <laughs> what's going on here? In his brand new fancy bike. I tell you what though, I've driven that road literally a thousand times and you don't notice any of those little layouts. Oh. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> and we are only 5.8k. Maybe it's just, oh there goes my light. <laughs> it is there. Oh, I'm sweating, I could do this shirtless. You, I don't know, you uh, drive it up there. Yeah, well let me just put it there. Oh no! Never give it extra. That's why I gave it extra. You cycle it and see what you think. Yeah. Expert wakeboard. Oh, yeah. What's your man, the really good cyclist? Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. But he's... Like the less druggy version of him. Yeah. <laughs> less druggy. <laughs> oh my god, it's like for cycling it. I can't reach the bottom of the pedal. <laughs> this bike is so much easier, other than the, obviously the size. It's like so much lighter. The brakes are so much, everything about it's a thousand times better. Mine's like 15 years old. No, you're wet. But I'm still smashing, I'm 5.3k in and my bum doesn't even hurt. Sweet. I'll tell you what, these spectacles are going to be really useful. <laughs> They're crooked. Dev, <laughs> pretty cool looking, Dev. <laughs> Woo! I did it down here. That's the job, man. This uphill, I'd say your tires feeling flat again. Is that you? Yeah. Give you your camera back, Luke. He's has stun on the move. Crash. <laughs> big hill, lads. Big hill. One of the 
wonders of the world. Oh my god. For reference, just to see how high we are. That's Dublin out, out there. Probably should have chosen somewhere flatter for a first day. Oh. That's hard with flat tire. Would you give up? <laughs> this is one of the miracles of the world, or wonders of the world. Or of Dublin anyway, or definitely Ireland. So, let me explain with a cool stoppy. Oh yeah. <laughs> see in. come up here for a sec. Out of interest, which way would you say is uphill and which way is downhill? That's downhill. No, it looks like that. But, due to the gradient of basically the mountain versus the steepness on the road, when you roll, it works in the car, I don't know if it'll work on a bike, because I have no pace. But as you can see, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm technically rolling this way, because- There's no way. It is, look, I'm cycling this way and I'm rolling, but it's uphill, see? How are you going uphill? <laughs> Grab so basically gravity is pushing him oh. up the hill. What? It's mad, isn't it? What the hell? <laughs> what? Try it. No, zero pedaling, alright Ian? Yeah. How? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? How are you going uphill? So I'm having to use loads of energy cycling this way, because even though it's downhill, it's actually uphill. I'm literally gathering momentum. What? <laughs> like proper momentum. I even paddle backwards. <laughs> that is the strangest oh, thing I've ever seen. All right, so we've arrived at the top of the mountains. Um, so to quickly talk about the route that we're doing, I'm actually gonna have to take out my phone for this. But basically, we are starting in Malinhead and we're going to Straban that day, 75 kilometers and 470 meters elevation. So elevation is apparently, from what we've heard, the key thing to play a factor. After that, we're going from Straban to Cavan, which is 110 kilometers and about 500 meters elevation, which is probably a bit of a tough day. The following day, Cavan to Portumna, that's about 140 kilometers, a long distance, but about 350 meters elevation. Then from Portumna, we're gonna to go to Mallow, which is about another 140 kilometers and about 550 meters elevation. So big elevation that day. And then we're going from Mallow to Bantry, which is only 92 kilometers. However, it's 650 meters elevation, which is tough. And then the last day, Bantry to Mizzen, nice and easy, 42 kilometers. 340 meters of elevation. So that's the plan along the way. Now we obviously need a lot of kind of infrastructure. Uh, we're gonna need to book stuff. Um, if there's anywhere to stay, let us know because if you want five sweaty lads landing upon you, you're, you're more than welcome to have us. Uh, we also are gonna need a support van. If we get that, we're also gonna need a support driver if anyone fancies uh, doing that and is willing to volunteer a week in return for some accommodation some beers and a few bits of food. Um, and that's basically our plan. But yeah, we will do it all ourselves. We can make it self-sufficient, but obviously the more people involved, the easier it's gonna be, the more it's gonna help us. Um, and the other thing is it is all gonna be for charity. Which charities, we're not entirely sure. I think a few of us are gonna raise money for different charities and they're close to our hearts in different ways. Um, so we will do more on that. I also don't think personally I'm gonna raise money from people. I'm just gonna maybe try and get some businesses to donate because I feel like that's easier. And that is basically it. So anyway, it was a bit of a random video, but I have started this training and I just thought it might be interesting to just document it. I'm not gonna document everything, but along the way, a little bit of training here and there. And then the week we do it, we'll probably do four or five videos, which would be quite cool. But now we're gonna cycle home, which hopefully a little bit more of it's downhill. But thank you so much for watching. If you're looking forward to watching this, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. So we were just cycling home, thought it was clean sailing. And it's the back wheel as well. I'm starting to think we've bitten off more than we can chew. I feel like this stuff's gonna do my head in. Great success, but <laughs> it's just chaos. <laughs> you okay, dude? I spent yeah. I spent days on a car working on rust on a Nissan 350Z and had less dirt in my hands. It's an absolute nightmare. Anyway, onwards and upwards. <laughs>